In this tutorial, we will show the most common way to use Pluralize, synchronizing the clips in a sequence. Here's how. Create a new project and save it. Pluralize needs to work with a saved project and will warn you if your project hasn't been saved. Next, create a sequence with the name Pluralize. That name will tell the application which sequence to work on. Now, import clips into the project. Here, we are importing clips from the sample project that is available on our website. Add the clips to the Pluralize sequence. Put clips taken by different cameras onto separate tracks. If you have multiple clips from one camera, you can put them onto the same track. This will make the processing faster. It doesn't matter where you put them on the track, because Pluralize is going to move them around. Next, start the Pluralize application and choose Sync. The first time you run it on a new project, it prepares the data and then starts analyzing. After a minute, it's done. Pluralize creates and opens a new sequence. If we zoom out to see the whole timeline, you can see that the clips have been moved because they are now synchronized. Also, Pluralize creates a multi-clip so you can see and edit the different camera angles in a 4-up display. When we open the multi-clip in the viewer, we can see how the synchronized camera angles have been created for us automatically. That's all there is to it. You save your project, create a sequence called Pluralize, add your clips to that sequence, start Pluralize, and choose Sync. 